Port Phillip Bay hosted its own sailing spectacle today with 74 yachts racing from Station Pier to Blair Gowery. The annual Cock of the Bay had a smaller field and shorter distance, but an exciting finish. Peak hour on Port Phillip Bay as about 700 yachtsmen and women scramble for pole position. There's always a bit of argy-bargy on the start line. The difference of a, a few seconds can make an enormous difference. With a stunning skyscraper backdrop, they made their way 34 nautical miles from Station Pier to Blair Gowrie in sunshine and minutes later, rain, even if they didn't all seem to be heading in the same direction. Sometimes we think of it as the Christmas pudding race. Uh, time to get out of the house after uh, indulgence on Christmas Day. Four yachts were turned around after crossing the start line too soon, costing about 10 minutes. Two others dropped out. Today's conditions aren't ideal for racing in the bay. The yachts are heading into south-southwesterly winds at 15 to 20 knots, which means they're going too slow to beat the race record. The fleet was down in numbers with about 20 vessels in Sydney for the 70th Sydney to Hobart. Race veteran Gusto took line honours in five hours, two minutes. Uh, it, was, it was hard. It was hard. We had steering problems. I was fighting the steering the whole way down. A few of the waves were breaking right over our bow. It was wet out there. There'll be a few wet people coming in later on tonight. In second place, Bell, just a minute 54 behind. The event's the first leg of the Sovereign Series, which continues tomorrow off Portsea with the start of three races across the Tasman, one to Devonport and two others to Hobart via the east or more difficult west coast. Paul Dowsley, 7 News.